saw the most insane private sailing boat. That is one dude's boat. Just a finished amount in February. You were telling me today is the first time it's been done because it was actually built or registered in Gibraltar. 350 million is what it cost. And it's, the guy who owns it actually has that other white, cool looking super yacht in the background. They're both his. Hey, we thought it was a cool way to start the video, but on another note, we have had a delivery today. This is unsponsored. Uh, it is literally just a douchebag's delivery. They very kindly sent some bags. And we are going to open these. I actually don't know what's in these bags. We just, you arrived today, Ayo, <laughs> yeah. and opened the door. And we're like, you've got a delivery. I was like, what the hell? Christmas time. So. Should we just do this? Let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quite violent with this. You ready? Go for it. Just uh, go for it. Let's see what's in there. Uh, ooh. Blue stuff. Ooh. Oh. It's a blue bag. Blue is actually my favorite color, so this is kind of convenient. Oh, we got, we got a few. Look at this. Blue and black. Blue, black. What are these like? like just tear it up. Ugh. Oh, this is a backpack. This is one of those big backpacks. This is going to be good for traveling. We're going on a trip. Yes. Yeah, It'll be the we first are. time we use them. Well, yeah. And then I think we've got a small one as well. This is a small black one. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that's actually really convenient. So, Perfect. There we go. We can both have a bag. You can finally fit all the camera gear I and know, all I that. I know, because we've been through. Okay, let's start with the second smallest box. Where's the knife? This feels like such a sponsored video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What is it? Oh, this is a big one. Ooh. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Look at this. This is like a full blown suitcase. <sighs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, and look, Beautiful. it's got like suede on the back of the handles ooh, and stuff ooh. like that. This is so cool. Attention to detail, 100. We are using this on our trip, 100%. Okay, and in the last box, so we've got a black and a black. Could this potentially be blue? Potentially. Uh, yeah. It'd be cool if it is, because then we've got two matching like sets of bags. Oh, it's big bigger. bastard. Yeah. Is that what they're called? I think so. Oh yeah, the big bastard, 90 liters. <laughs> oh. Oh my nice. god. Nice. This one is huge. Nice. Yeah. Uh, should we give them a little cinematic of the bags? You maybe. Want to do cinematic? We could, we could. Cinematic yeah, shots. yeah, I love cinematics. Let's do it. Take the box out up there, uh, up these stairs. Emily's here, by the way, guys. <laughs> Emily's back. Boom. Rocky. Guess who's back um, again? Can you help me yeah. grab this up the stairs. Now, the current problem we have, which is a, um, it's not really a problem. It's a good problem to have. Is that in order to maneuver cars around, I always seem to find myself with many keys moving cars just to get cars out of the garage, which seems like a very salamandrin type of problem. Yeah. But uh, I'm about to drop this. So we're gonna move the Lotus, which is still looking all nice and clean from yesterday, and put that in the garage, I think. And we're probably gonna need to take the Mercedes, the Mummobile. The to Mummobile. Be able to get, all go get some food at uh, the supermarket. Do we know what we're feeling yet? No? Uh, pasta? Pasta? I don't know, we'll we see. Maybe we, we come up with something. All right, time to move some cars. Yes, yes, let's not hit a little more, open the window, Yay. otherwise it's not going to be a prank anymore of yeah, we scratch uh, James's scar. car, yeah. I just want to apologize in advance to James and Paul if anything. Yeah, keep going, foot on the brake, like not all the way. Uh, okay, accelerate. Accelerate a bit. You're We're good. Illegal. We're good. Nailed it. Now what? Now just keep going, straight. Okay, yeah, you're good. Yes. F 
fits barely. Okay. It fits barely. There's like a couple millimeters. Yeah. Slow, slow, slow. It is time for some food. Shall we do a dramatic cruising in the Mummobile montage to food? Let's do that. And then food. And then catch up once we've got the food. Let's do this. Let's go. So, we have gotten the compliments to our sandwich which we're gonna make. Well, on the top right here, there's just dessert. Um, but we've gotten tomatoes for tomato mozzarella starter, then we got avocado, lots of children right here, and <laughs> random. Yeah, squad goals right here. But anyways, we are waiting for the chicken shop to open, which opens in like 10, 15 minutes. So, I'm bringing you, you've never been here before, to the old town. Nope. So Ao is gonna visit the old town of this village above Monaco, beautiful. which is uh, pretty beautiful. So let's keep the music going and just explore this rather gorgeous little village. Well, we've got the chicken now after a bit of a wait and we're gonna kick it off tomato mozzarella and then chicken with beans and then chicken sandwich. We're gonna have a little bit of a feast and then later on, we're actually gonna go film the Lotus, aren't we? Yep. Which is exciting. Anyways, back in the mum mobile, let's head home. Welcome to the food channel, which we have now started. <laughs> we have got a, quite a feast here. We've got French, two different types of bread, baguettes, then we've got avocado, cucumber, chicken, and a little tomato mozzarella starter. Saying I'm excited would be an understatement, so uh, let's just dig in. Now, let's whip the lotus out of the garage. Okay, problem, it started raining. Yeah, so unlucky. Like, literally, we were about to go film like a review of the lotus, and it started pissing it down with rain outside, so we can't really do what we wanted to do, which was a really highly high production video of the Lotus, the drone and everything, which we can't do now because it's really raining. Rain, why you gotta do us like that? Why you gotta do us like that? So, what we're gonna do instead is the Q&A for you. So I'm gonna post a photo now on Instagram, mm -hmm. asking for you guys to send in questions about yourself and about yes. the new editor and all this stuff because now they will know who you are and yeah. uh, people will send in their questions. We're going to answer the questions now for the Q&A and in tomorrow's video, we just check the weather. It's going to be beautiful weather. I'm going to do a full review of my Lotus because I realize I haven't really done that yet. I haven't touched upon what it's actually like owning that car after a month. I've done a full cinematic video of it. So that's going to be tomorrow's vlog. But right now, we're just going to answer your questions. So I'm going to get posting and let's get started. Posted the photo, it's been up for a few minutes. We have a hundred and forty comments. Which is go which through, is good. Which, which is, is pretty good. impressive. Yeah. People have been on it, so I'm going to scroll to the top and shall I quiz you? Oh yeah. I'm gonna Let's quiz yeah. you, okay. So, Mr. Ao, yes. are you, and this is from Car Spot NLSC, are you coming to Holland with me? Yes. We oh, actually touched upon this on yesterday's video. Yes, we did. So we, we won't did. spend too much time on that. But you are coming to Hollywood. Really. Yes, positive. So that's question number one. Can you tell us, and this is off a question asked by A underscore Lapinskis, Lapinskis, are you, what is your dream bike? My dream bike, okay. Because you have a bike, you have a Harley. Because there's a bunch of questions about your bike. So tell us about your Harley, and then tell okay. us what your dream bike would be. Well, the Harley is pretty simple. It's a regular Harley Davidson Iron 83, that 2014, it, like the model. Yeah. And uh, what happened is that I wanted to make it look like a cafe racer. So this is my first bike actually. And I fell in love with the cafe racer style. 
But unfortunately, I don't have the tools nor the knowledge to build a cathode ray system because usually that's how you do it, you build it yourself. Yeah. So I thought maybe I buy a good base and maybe switch the equipment and different yeah. things so it looks like a cathode ray system. Okay. And so with a lot of time, I went to the Harley, I picked that one and then I saw that it had a good potential. Yeah. And yeah, so I changed a lot of things. Uh, maybe we can do a video one day of... Bike if video. People, if people want, yeah. I did one bike video with a friend of mine, oh, yeah? JJ, when we went to pick up his bike. Nice. And if you had to say just the make a model of your dream bike. Uh, exactly. You said make. Yeah. I wouldn't buy one because I don't think there's anything on the market I really, really, really think is... I the you one. have one made? Yeah, I would probably have one made, yeah. Like okay. probably a cafe racer still because yeah. they're so cool. Yeah. But like something really powerful, comfortable, because mine is comfortable but not that comfortable. Yeah and super good looking and just practical. Okay, yeah. uh, here's one I guess for both of us, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Would you class YouTube as a job or just a hobby? Personally, uh, it's it's a hobby. It's it's a hobby that I enjoy doing it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, I mean, what about you? For me, it is a hobby, and the fact that it makes money behind it for yeah. both of us is an added bonus, but mainly, oh, I think a hobby is classed as it, it I think you would class it as a hobby because even if we weren't getting paid for it, we'd mm. still be doing it. Yeah, so sure, therefore it's sure. a hobby because sure. work you only do if you get paid. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yes. What car do you own? What car do I own? I own a Jeep, yeah. uh, which is on here. Is it a Wrangler? Like the... No, it's, it's, they call it in the US a Liberty. Okay. In France they call it the Cherokee. Not the, not, yeah. not the Grand Cherokee, there's another the Cherokee, one. Cherokee, just Cherokee. Yeah, so yeah, that's the one. What made you get into filming? Passion. Passion for filming. I love capturing moments. Every time I look at something or see a situation, I just think I want to capture it and make it uh, look like I would like to see it. Yeah. Uh, that makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something so, yeah. you would like to watch yourself. Yeah, exactly. So you, well, like we've just been watching yesterday's vlog over and over again. Yeah. We're like, oh, it looks so cool in there. Yeah. Uh, your favorite car. Favorite car. Well, I was telling you that uh, I was watching this Bugatti Chiron documentary, which went through the whole building process. Yeah. And you don't realize how much it takes, right? You don't realize, and maybe because of that, it might be like up there because it just looks. Extremely sick. Yeah. If you could choose a different spec for my Lotus, what would it be? Spec meaning uh, colors, uh, basically just colors. Uh, color. I'll come to that. I would add the canards. You know. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. Things at the, the, the front because I just love. Maybe even in the back it could look sick. I just yeah. love those those little canards. Details. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have those in yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And color wise, actually, I told you that before that I love. My one of my favorite colors is a burgundy like this. So yeah. this color, it, yeah. gold of course, I love gold. Yeah. So I would the rims are beautiful. Yeah. So I don't know if I would change something. We saw the the same model at Top Marks actually. Yeah, in gray, in gray. Look cool in gray. Which was pretty good. In gray yeah. was was pretty nice. But still, I mean, I would probably I would keep the same. Sweet. Where would you like us to go on a trip in the near future? Where would we, and we were just talking about this, I think I know kind of where. <laughs> Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, Los Angeles is the place we both want to go to. Yeah. Uh, but obviously it is very expensive to go to Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. And if we go there, we want to spend time there. I don't want to just go for like five days. If we go, it's like, right, we're going to LA for a month. Yeah, and plan a lot to. of shooting and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Collabs. Do you prefer Paul or James's car? So Lamborghini Huracan or 6M5 LT? Uh, like in yeah, the way they are. Outside, there. Yeah. Uh, I would say the LT is probably a little more unique. I don't know. It just depends on the color. Also, those two orange. The orange is good. Yeah. But I'm not a big fan. I don't think it, it really pops the the car in, in two, the, two, the two lines. Orange. Yeah. But I might go for the LT because it's more unique and you yeah. don't see it that much actually. But I love the Huracan as well. But Maybe a little more loyalty. Uh, someone's asking what nationality you are. Nationality? Well, I am half American, half Iranian, yeah. born in France. So you're all over? All over the place, yeah. <laughs> and there's even more stuff, but that's like too small. So like, that's the main, main thing. Do you have any particular events you would really like us to go to? So mm. Geneva Motor Show, Top Marks, um, LA Motor Show, uh, uh, LA, Grand Prix yeah. in Abu Dhabi. Grand Prix actually, yeah. We have that 
booked, so that yeah. would be like super sick. That's one I'm excited for. There's the Monaco Grand Prix coming, that's gonna be sick, so yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. Outside of that, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe something in snow, maybe like an event, I don't know too much. Uh, yeah. Something in, yeah. in the north, north, northern country. That will come in the winter. Yeah, yeah, we can do some snow like we did. The, like yeah, I did. Yeah, like did yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, your dream daily driver. I think I, ah, I yeah. know this. Okay, go for it. RS6? Yes. Yeah. This is the dream car. Not because, uh, well, because I love it, but because it's also very practical. I'm not the kind of guy that looks for performance or yeah. numbers or whatsoever. I just like. I just want to combine everything. And it is so cool. It is well. so like, cool. It looks cool. Fully lowered, blacked out yeah, RS6 yeah, with yeah, an exhaust. Yeah. Insane. Um, favorite camera? If you could have any camera, like a red camera. Or... Uh, red could be cool because the quality is insane, especially if you shoot 6K now. This yeah. is marvelous. My camera, I love it actually. It's tiny, super performant. Yeah, this one's really cool. It could be slightly more stable, Yeah. but it's, it, it does a pretty good job also. If you have a camera that does everything for you, then it doesn't make any sense because yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it means you don't have uh, you don't have to be good at it anymore. So yeah, exactly. I like this camera because you actually need some uh, talent or skills. To Would it. you be excited about filming some content for the channel in London? Is London course. somewhere you'd like to go? Yeah, okay. I, I'm I'm not particularly in love with the city, but. Yeah, that would be I think it'd be fun. There's a good car scene up there, so we can make one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What are your goals for the channel before the end of the year? Before the end of the year, hmm, it's tricky. Like, and onto that, there's another question. Would you ever consider making daily vlogs on this channel? We've spoken about. We've this. spoken about this, and it would be uh, it would be something we could consider. Maybe in the future we see how it goes. I think we see. I think it's best to you know start here and leave exactly out, rather so than start realistically yeah. and then see. and then see yeah. yeah exactly. So I think that's best. I mean we've said that shoot for four to five a week, which yeah. is what we're going to try and do. And I mean goals for the channel it's so hard to know, but obviously like if we could get to. You know, 350k, 400k by the end of the year. Yeah, that, that would, would be incredible. That would be a great start, and subscribers. That is, um, yeah, that would be that would be really cool. But you know, we're just going to take it. We're going to do these videos. I think we're both we've spoken about this, doing it for the love of making mm -hmm. the videos yeah. more mm -hmm. than for all the other stuff. Exactly. Um, so, last question would be: Is this okay? Is being the editor what you expected, or is it more work, less work, more fun, or less fun? It is kind of what I expected because yeah. I used to do that kind of myself before, so yeah. I know what it's like shooting, I know what it's like editing. So this it's nothing new for me. Yeah. What's new is um, maybe that it takes a little more time shooting because it, we're we're talking about more consequential yeah. shoots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's a lot of cars, there's, there's, there's a lot of action, and it's actually a little more work, I would say, yeah. on set like yeah. shooting because you have you have to think of drone. Camera, GoPro, a lot of a bunch of it's stuff. A lot of stuff, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it is a little more work on that side, but the rest of it, I, I kind of expected it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you find it to be more uh, like fun, like we're doing it is. stuff, or is it more like okay, it's a more chill out? It's 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 a mix. Things, it's, yeah. it's really a mix. Like yeah. some moments, it's really fun because you're really enjoying, and yeah. then some other moments. You can't have too much fun because you really have to stay focused yeah, on yeah, getting yeah. the shot, thinking about the shot. And, and it's tricky because with what we, we do is uh, sometimes you'll have three days where it's barely any sleep, mm -hmm. super intense, like yeah. filming non-stop. And then you'll have days like today, which are relaxed, we had time to make ourselves a nice yeah, lunch. Yeah. We got a bit screwed over by the weather, but you know that, that happens. Yeah. Uh, on that note, so this video isn't 15 years long, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for answering all the questions. No worries. Thanks to the ton of people who sent questions in. It's super humbling every time we see how many questions you guys have. And obviously we'd be here for quite a while if we had to answer everything. But if you see us around in Belgium, in Holland, in Monaco, here or anywhere that we are, please don't hesitate to come say hi. We love talking to you guys. We love chatting, hearing your stories and being able to answer your questions. So please don't hesitate. Come say hello, have a chat, and we would love to make, meet you and spend some time with you. We're gonna be back for the Lotus video tomorrow, which I'm super psyched about to see a proper high quality video of the Lotus. Yeah. Show off the spec, show off the car. You can hear it properly and I'll tell you what I really think about it. And then we're off to Belgium. Yes. We're gonna be taking our new bags, which I'm yes. excited about <laughs> as well. We've just been like wearing them, walking around the house. 
But yeah, thank you so much guys, as per usual. If you aren't already, please remember to click that subscribe button down below. Thank you to the notification squad as well for always uh, commenting down below really early. I try and answer your comments and we'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, oh. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Julia.